I'll grab my ice cream out of the blast chiller and I'm just gonna hope it's gonna hold its shape. Uh, it's not set properly. The ice cream just melts on my plate. I'm not gonna give up just yet. I'm determined to get something on the plate because it's better than nothing. I'm gonna try and assemble it, I'm gonna try and garnish it, even though this dish is falling apart. You've dipped into the cornucopia of the garden, but will you win the Hunger Games? Two minutes to go. Oh. The aim of the dish is to represent that beautiful garden, and I think that I've done that today. Oh, it looks great. This could be a dish that does stand out and maybe gets me tasted. I'm really worried that my creme caramels haven't set, but I've got to put it on the plate or else I'll have nothing to present to the judges. I meant. It's basically a puddle of custard right now. It is absolutely the worst thing that can happen to a creme caramel. I'm, pa I'm panicked. That's it, 30 seconds, come on. running out of time, I decide to take the last cream caramel out of the oven, pop it on the plate without turning it out. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. You know, I'm really proud of myself. Hopefully my gamble of infusing that chocolate mint into the parfait pays off. I'm feeling so relieved. There was a point where I did not think I would get that pasta up at all. I think it's the nice looking dish and hopefully it tastes good, so it's up to the judges. It's all melted. Ice cream didn't work, so that's not really a dish at all. Definitely not enough to be in the top. It didn't set. Mine either. I'm not so happy that it didn't set, <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Like, I'm really happy with the caramel underneath. I'm happy with the flavour of the custard. I'm really hoping that by some stroke of miracle, they might taste it today. Right. What a great cook. Maggie obviously does good things to you lot when she steps in the kitchen, because there's some fabulous food. There's no doubt about it. So remember, whoever wins this challenge, it's a great advantage going to the next challenge, which is the invention test. Ready to find out who they are? Yeah. First one. Georgia. Oh, you clever girl. Oh, 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 there's five. Do we have <laughs> There's five. There's five. Georgia, you better grab one. <laughs> mm. These are okay, aren't they? <laughs> Every bit of this the ice cream, the biscuit, the syrup, the flowers. My gosh. <laughs> At the moment, there's a room full of people going. Oh, why didn't I make an ice cream sandwich? It's a really cracking dish. And you look at it and you go, gee, that's an awful lot to do in one hour and do it well. Mm. Really impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maggie Bear eating my ice cream sandwiches and absolutely loving it. I'm blown away. I am having the time of my life. <laughs> Next up. Christina. Oh. <laughs> Christina. What me? What me? I know. You sure? Actually, no, it's the wrong dish. Take it back. <laughs> no, no, it's the right dish. We're not joking. It looks beautiful. What did you pick in the garden? Um, everything. No, <laughs> I, I picked um, some lovely baby carrots and a little eggplant and a whole bunch of flowers, zucchini flowers and some nasturtiums and a little chai flower in there. Nailed the pasta, absolutely nailed it. And the burnt butter, doesn't that leave that lingering taste? It's a really simple idea. We haven't done too much to it, so it just tastes really beautiful and looks really beautiful. Well done, Thank Christina. You. Next dish we like to taste is Matthews. 
So the dish is a, a chocolate mint parfait with baked rhubarb. Chocolate mint. That's so clever. Yeah. And chocolate mint is absolutely mm. delicious. I am absolutely I'm amazed really that that herb has given so much to that. It tastes like a chocolate mint ice cream and you've just used herb. Beautiful. Really restaurant quality and that's a huge step forward. I think it's really, really great cooking. Thank you. Thank you. The next dish to be tasted belongs to Jessica. So it's a Mediterranean vegetable tart. Got a smoky eggplant, spring onion puree, cavallonero, roast tomato, and a herb and chili salad. You've got lots of lovely, you know, bright, crisp, herbaceous flavors. You've got richness, you've got smokiness. I like the smokiness of the, of the eggplant, and you've got that lift of flavor at the end. The pastry, I'm not sure. I like the idea of, of doing a pastry disc on, disc on the bottom, but I think the pastry's, the pastry's a little bit flawed. Thank you. Right, who's going to be next? Sarah. <laughs> four out of four. Yes. <laughs> Pleased? Yeah, I'm really happy. I made eggplant and ricotta tortellini with a purple sage butter sauce. And you made ricotta, didn't you? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. How much chilli did you use, can I ask? Yeah, I tasted it and um, it has a little bit of heat, but not too much. OK. It, the heat is coming a little for me, okay? but then that's because I'm a wimp. Uh, no other reason. The pasta is really good. Nothing is worse when the pasta is too thick in the mouth, and I really like it. Good flavour balance in there, and you push yourself for one hour. So, credit, well done. Thank you. Thanks, so. My feedback is positive, but I'm not getting rave reviews, so I'm crossing my fingers. I'm going to get the advantage today. We were going to pick five, but actually, because the food's been so good, we're now going to taste six dishes. Next dish we'd love to taste... Melita. I'm completely surprised. I'm just so happy that I get a chance to get my dish tasted. Hey, how's that? I'm First time excited. mystery box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cool. And on a good day when Maggie's in the kitchen. I know, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. What have you cooked? It looks very pretty. Oh, let's very say good. that. It does look very you. delicate. I've stuffed a zucchini flour with ricotta and basil. I made a ragu with the capsicum, green tomato, and an onion I found, and a purple carrot curd. And you didn't have ricotta? I made the ricotta with the milk and lemon juice. Excellent. Excellent. Stuff. Go, you taste. Well, can I take the Just really take the stuffed end? Just <laughs> take the best bit. It's your privilege. Did you call that a ragu? Yes. Of the vegetables? Yeah. A lovely buttery flavour there. That's got bags and bags of flavour. And what's lovely about it is that you've kept the main element, that the heart of the dish, which is that zucchini flour. You've plucked it straight off a vine in the garden and it looks like you've done nothing to it, but it's clever. But what makes it for me is just the, the power, the flavour that you've got behind all that. It looks a little tiny dish, but it packs a punch. Thanks very much. Good stuff. Well done. Really thrilled to hear that sort of feedback. I would love to win this challenge just for something for myself to hang on to to go, yeah, okay, so maybe I do deserve to be here. 